In today's video, we're going to be breaking down a very simple and effective way to beat man-to-man -man out of the trip side information. We're going to be using the plate X spot, uh, and this is found in the Detroit uh, offensive playbook. Now, as the game has kind of shifted, I feel like Detroit is becoming a better trips tight end. I feel like it's becoming a better all-around playbook because it has some of our other ebooks that we've released. It has bunch tight end. We released that ebook last week. It has bunch. We've done a lot of content on a bunch this year. Um, it has tight, uh, which is I think has the best gun tight in the game. It also has uh, some other formations like a spread type set. It has a five wide. Um, and it, it's really effective and it has a gun double so there's a lot of versatility in Detroit and um, the X spot play is becoming I think one of the better trips tight end plays as we head into a little bit of a meta shift defensively so uh, like I said today we're going to show you how to be man in zone with this play if you want to get my full trips tight end offensive ebook I've done uh, trips tight end ebooks out of pe uh, the Pats playbook as well as out of Detroit so you can get access to all of those ebooks in our Patreon for just $10 you'll be able to get access to our trips ebook, our bunch ebook, our bunch tight end ebook, our tight ebook. We have seven a library of about 17 offensive and defensive ebooks available to you uh, just by becoming a member today. So if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description below. You can click the link down below. And again, it's just 10 bucks to become uh, a Patreon member. So the play is X spot out of trips tight end. And what we're going to do is we're going to motion this receiver over. And what you're going to see is this is going to turn this corner route into a pretty interesting little post route uh, that can be very, very effective. Now, um, you have kind of a decision. What I like to do with this is I actually like to leave this little quick out to the tight end. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to streak the slot receiver and then I'm going to put the backside receiver on an in route. So you see this is what the play art looks like. Um, you can go ahead and block the running back to give yourself a little bit of time. And what you'll see is that this post route, when you motion it over, it becomes one of the best um, one of the best ways to beat man-to-man -man as Brady gets absolutely just abused by the good old four down live and rush out of 3-3. Three, three. Um, but let me actually put uh, a little bit better of a route running receiver there. I'm going to put uh, Godwin. Uh, in that spot just because he has the better route running you do want you know in mutt right now you're going to have players um that all have pretty decent route running you know in regs route running is kind of at a premium uh so just kind of keep that in mind as you look at these uh as you look at this but anyways um so again we're going to motion them over you can um whoops you can actually um, i'm gonna give you two setups while i'm at it so the second setup is a five out setup. Um, so the five out version would be we're going to streak our tight end, we're going to slant Julio Jones, and we're going to end our backside receiver. So now we have a slant flat concept on the right. This clear out streak will be very effective for clearing out any thirds, and then you know we'll be able to hit the post. So you see here, um, right there, hit that post, and that is the route that we want to kind of focus on. That's the main route on the play. Um, and then the beauty of the of the man beating piece of this format of this play is it's gonna be really hard for them to use her the out route and the and the post. So so you'll see right here, like Otten should be wide open to the outside, free form outside, pass lead, and you're gonna possession catch that. So you see that you have that little band meter over there to the right alongside of that. A lot of people right now against strip side in, they're only putting like a man coverage over there or they're only putting outside third. So something to kind of consider. And then the second variation of this play where you're going to streak your tight end and you're going to slant this backside guy. Again, you're, you're, they have to use as a post. So your in and your backside slant are both pretty effective little check downs um, on this play. So that's kind of the idea with the concept. So um, let's talk a little bit more about zone. Uh, like I said, this is pretty simple against man. You're either going to hit your, if you're running the slant variation, you're going to hit the slant um, or the post. If you're running the um, the first variation, you're going to hit the post or the out route or the backside in route. Um, so if we run this play like this against cover three, this is pretty good because, again, that third is going to get pulled, and he's going to come right underneath it, right in that little alley. You want to take that and get your yardage. The beauty of this against zone is a lot of people are playing hard flats. You're not seeing a lot of curl flats. So because of that, 
you'll see here that if they're playing hard flats, um, this tight end out route will run a little bit deeper than that. And you should be able to highball this to the outside against a hard flat, as you can see. So if they're playing hard flat coverage, you should have an ability to be able to get over the top of a hard flat out of either cover three or cover four. So um, it just kind of gives you another option with this play. And then we'll show you again this tight end. So you see here again, hard flat. You're just going to high ball back, back shoulder catch to the sideline. Really simple. And then um, we'll show you the second variation of this. So the second variation of this um, is, is also really good for hard. You know, you're going to have a lot of options against zone. Um, but basically, you'll see here, this this um, this will this uh, post will be thrown a little earlier, like right in that area, as opposed to when he gets all the way across the middle. Because you're wanting to throw the post right underneath the streak, if you will, because the streak is going to clear out a lot of zones. And then the running back is going to actually do a good job of pulling zones outside and it should give you a little window to hit your slant so you see here my slant pass lead to the outside boom and that's a real nice little pass lead uh, for the slant against cover three cover four if they keep the purples i do want to show you that so let's say they you know it's just a stock cover three or they're using curl flats you're going to see here that my running back is going to be open and I can just take that as a nice check down for about three to five yards. Now another thing I want to point out is um, if, the, if they are playing cover three they have to go use of the post right so that's the route that they have to lurk on so even if they are running curl flats to try to contain your slant check down what you'll notice here is there's that window right there to hit because the streak is going to pull back the yellows and he's going to pull back the deep thirds and then the the route to the running back is going to pull pull the um he's going to pull the the curl flats outside so they're still going to be pulled outside with this little flat route that's why this flat route is really important on this play and then again they have to use this post across the field so um you'll see here as I get instant shedded by a 49 overall lineman, I think. Um, but what you'll see here is again, let me just put the um, the guy in coverage to kind of imitate them using here. Is if you have, you know, let's say that you know they, they're dropping a and you have a significant amount of time, you can wait on this in route, and it'll come open right about there, as you can see. So all in all, this play is really simple, but at the same time, it's really effective for attacking man and zone coverages, and you need that with the current meta because as you're seeing a lot of hybrid coverages right now where they're manning people up out of zone, and trips tied in, a lot of this real, one of the reasons why X-Spot is so important, when you're playing trips tied in, a lot of people will just man up this middle trips receiver, right? Well, when you have a route, uh, now you have the same power route, if you will, from this guy so you know you they might think you're running PA slot corner and now you're running this variation you know this variation of X spot you know so now they wasted a man up and they still have to use her over the middle and then you have the check down if they if they do do that okay so if you want to get my full trip side in offensive ebook I feel like it's my best work this year um, we've got a lot of content in there about trips tied in we're going to be updating it in the near future. We're also releasing a brand new bunch ebook as well. Uh, we're going to be covering the West Coast. That makes our third bunch ebook this year. We've covered um, the Steelers bunch, the Washington bunch, and we're going to be covering the uh, West Coast bunch as well. And I'm working on some stuff from Green Bay with tight offset tight end and the Packers bunch. So stay tuned for that. But if you guys want to get access to all of that, all the library of ebooks, all ebooks are available. Uh, by becoming a Patreon member. If you just join the Patreon, you get access to everything. So for 10 bucks, you get access to all of our ebooks as well as all of our updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release. So make sure that you join the Patreon. Head down to the description below if you want to sign up. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you at the Patreon.